a character Emma is shown at the beginning of the movie who was observing a cat through her room window which is drowning in the water she remains emotionless here actually she was not feeling regret of drowning this cat now she thinks to go to rescue this cat after this it is seen that she used to live with her father and she communicates while taking breakfast meanwhile her aunt approaches to her house who talks about the new caretaker of emma in fact emma's first caretaker had faced an accident and no one knew this how she faced the accident now emma's aunt has search a new caretaker for her when they both are talking then emma tells them about the dead cat then it is observed that emma's father was taking that dead cat out of dead pond it is seen that there was not a little grief on the face of emma that cat might be alive if she saved the life of this cat her father is seen who is interviewing her new caretaker he hires her observing her manners emma had applied for a new citizenship she wanted to get this medal it is seen that she is behaving perfectly with each person of her school she is playing with some of the kid then a girl strikes with her emma supports that girl she is also seen practicing to smile at home next day was the award day her father makes her wear a charming dress and he leads her to the school where many parents had visited in award ceremony teacher announces here that milo has won the medal of citizenship she was telling her father that milo is the winner of this medal she did not deserve this medal she humiliates milo she also ask apology for her this behavior from her father she takes milo to a cliff and milo says after a time that we should return home emma goes near milo later something blank comes on the scene after a time milo's parents are witnessed who visit emma they ask her have you seen our son milo anywhere she replies i have not seen him for a long time then some girls shout for help who were coming from the direction of cliff milo's parents also go after those girls and they observe while reaching that their son had drawn to die he is also given cpr teammate but he had died next day emma's father asks her while taking breakfast how is she feeling at the death of her friend but she overlooks this at all as she did not feel any grief at the death of her friend at the same day emma's caretaker also comes to home emma observes at night that her caretaker was seeing her father's medicine she thinks as she wants to steal them she tells her caretaker when she was watching a movie with her i witnessed that you wanted to steal the medicines of my father then she says you will have to carry out what i order you i will not say a single word for this to my father caretaker gets furious on this in spite of this she agrees with emma next day there was milo's funeral ceremony in which everyone was crying then emma is also seen weeping before the parents of milo she was pretending as such as she is in full grief at the death of their son's death when emma's father talks to milo's parents they tell him milo's medal is also lost emma's father had got worried hearing this when he goes to take the dresses for laundry in emma's room he discover milo's medal there the he started doubting on emma he witnesses some photos there in which emma was staring at milo he had started to suspect his daughter emma's teacher comes to emma's house with investigator on the coming day she talks to her father after coming and reveals that some kids had witnessed emma with milo on the cliff before her death emma's father investigates emma at night had you visited the cliff with milo 
she says in a straight way i did not visit emma father says to her on this some people had witnessed you with milo on the cliff she loses her temper on this and says that it has been told to you by mrs ellis and she does not like me next day the same caretaker is seen who goes to emma's workplace and she asks the permission to smoke there emma's father says to her on this she cannot smoke here because there have been placed many chemicals when the same caretaker goes outside with emma later so they may plan then they notice that there is a parked car of mrs ellis out of the house caretaker tells emma that a case has been hired against her it is being said that at the death time of milo then you were also with her then caretaker leads emma into the house and she attempts to frighten her by saying if you have committed this then you will be seated on the criminal's electric chair emma is very frightened on this in spite of this she does not accept as she has committed something next day caretaker is seen who was searching for emma in the whole house meanwhile a wasp nest is shown on the roof of emma's house emma's teacher who was driving to her home then a wasp disturb her then a wasp nest is seen at the back seat of her car which had been placed in her car by emma she had planned that her teacher may meet her and in some way by accident emma's caretaker also notices that medal which belonged to milo she hangs that medal on the lamp of emma's father room taking this so that emma may be caught when emma comes to her father's room she immediately hide that medal behind her emma's father notices this action then he makes emma sit near him and he ask my daughter from where did you get this medal emma fabricates a story that milo himself had gifted this medal to her next day when emma's father is going to the office then he also calls therapist on the way because he wanted to treat her daughter any psychiatrist then he observed on the way that someone has faced an accident on the other side emma is seen who was asking her caretaker dad you had hanged this medal on the lamp and she was in aggressive mood then emma father had come there and he asked emma to accompany him and he says take your medal that you had taken from milo then he leads her to milo's house emma returns this medal to milo's mother who was seeming so confused while taking this medal at the same time she tells to emma's mother Mrs Ellis has been died in a car accident. Emma pretends to weep as she hears this news and she tells that she was her best teacher when she was returning to home with her father. Then she quite forgets this about her teacher's death. She was saying to her father she will bake the biscuit with her caretaker moving to home. Her father is shocked and worried on her this behavior. Next day Emma's father is seen who was working at his workplace. The wasp nest had disappeared from his room which was present before. Now he was suspecting that his daughter is involved in the death of Mrs Ellis. Then Emma's psychiatric is seen whose first meeting held with Emma. Then that psychiatric tells Emma's father that your daughter is like normal kid. Emma had also entrapped that psychiatric through her conversation. Emma's caretaker Clue say to Emma going there, "I can also be your stepmother because your father has affection for me." Emma becomes furious on this and she asks her father going there, "That Clue is saying to me as she wants to be my stepmother. Do you like her?" His father does not respond on this and leaves that place. Then it is seen at night when Clue was watching TV. Then she hears a noise from out building. She moves out of the house in search of Emma and she glimpses a shadow and she instantly moves to out building. Then someone locks the door of the out building. She was caught in the outbuilding then it is seen that outbuilding is set on fire. Clue peeps through the window where Emma was in standing position. 
and it was Emma who had set this outbuilding on fire. To kill Clo, then Clo is seen who burns to die in fire. When Emma's father knows about this, then he calls the fireman. They extinguished the fire coming there, but Clo had been died at that time. After this, Emma's father comes to her room, and he asks to her coming there, was it you who killed Milo? He says, my daughter, I will take every step to save you, but you will have to expose the reality before me. Emma tells on this to his father, yes, it was me who had pushed Milo from the roof. Emma's father also asks her about her ex-caretaker. She tells, yes, she had caught my hand in aggression. As a result, I pushed her from the stairs. In the end, Emma's father asks about Chloe. Emma had engaged on this. She shouts with fury, yes, she tried so become my stepmother. So I also killed her. Emma's father had knows the whole reality. That his daughter is behind all the crime scene. He had gone upset too much. That his younger daughter is committing the great crimes. Emma says to her father she will not act as much in future. But Emma's father was scared. Next day officer contact him. He says I want to meet Emma but her father puts a lame excuse. As she is suffering from high fever, Emma's father was so frightened. As his daughter may be seized by them, so he had taken his daughter far at the lake house. House guard greets them at the same day officer contacts Emma's father again. And he tells him that building had not caught fire by itself. But someone had set the building on fire. Emma's father had also placed a gun at his home for his safety and he was thinking as he may use this gun at any time to end the scenario. Then Emma turns on all the stoves of the house. So her father may die because of the gasoline. She herself goes out of the house locking all doors. At the same time Emma's father wake up as he smells the gasoline. He opens all windows and the doors quickly as he witnesses his daughter out of the house. Then he had got it that his daughter has attempted to kill him. He goes to his daughter and asks, why did you do this? She says in rage, if you die then I will stay with my aunt who is best one. Her father brings her back into the house so comfortably and he gives her intoxicating drug in the chocolate at night. In the next scene, it is seen that Emma is standing before her father. She has caught a gun and she fires the gun at her father. But this bullet does not touch her father but it is stuck into a pillow. Then her father wakes up and asks how you are waking up till now. Emma says that you had mixed the intoxicating drug into my chocolate. So I replaced my chocolate with yours. Emma wanted to fire the gun at her father but he snatches the gun from her at the same time. Emma instantly calls 911 and she hides going into a lavatory. She informs after calling that her father wants to kill her. Their guard had also approached there hearing the gunshot. He checks after coming that Emma is hidden in the lavatory and his father is standing there pointing his gun at her guard wanted to rescue Emma. Meanwhile, Emma's father kills himself with gun instead of killing his daughter. Emma notices that her father had fired the gun at himself in front of her. In the end of the movie, Emma's aunt is seen, who has come to carry her. She embarrasses her. She says, your father had a mental disorder who was saying to all that. You have killed all. How is it possible? It referred that Emma's aunt used to have a firm belief on her. And the movie completes on this scene. I hope you enjoyed this explanation of the movie. If you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.